Hey, it's Ben and Vlad, and we are back with the top 10 must-haves for your wedding day. So stay tuned. All right, so top 10 things. First off, we think it's important. Yep. To have wedding coordinators. A wedding coordinator. Extremely important. Extremely important. Uh, Vlad, really quick. This is something I've been confused about. So, can you answer this question? Because I have I didn't realize that these were different. Okay. But what is the difference between a wedding planner okay. and a wedding coordinator? Because I've only recently become aware that those are two different things. Seriously, Ben? Come so. on. <laughs> Come on, Ben. So, do, can you shed a little light on planner. this for me? Uh, wedding planners, they help you with planning at your wedding, started from the get-go. Okay. Uh, definitely somebody that kind of helps you uh, decide on uh, uh, what time you should do your wedding, uh, what uh, what day in a way, helps you find uh, uh, wedding vendors. vendors. Okay, yeah. All the, all the recommendations, all the good stuff. So, so a wedding, coordinator yep. helps you plan out the wedding from start yes. to finish. So wedding coordinator. Yeah, uh, it's someone that's in charge of the day of the actual wedding day. So there, so a coordinator is there on the day of the wedding, yep. making sure that everything happens. It is they're, battlefield. They're the director That's right. Of they, the day. they basically make things happen. Okay. When things go, go south, if things get, you know, don't get delivered, they're the ones in charge. They're in charge of putting that together, uh, make sure everything goes smoothly and nobody gets hurt. So that's great. So Simple. planner, so planner helps you get all the details together when you first decide to get married. Yep. Plans everything for the big day. Coordinator, they they make sure everything happens smoothly and yeah. on time. Some people do both a wedding planner yeah, yeah, and, and a coordinator. It's yeah, it's something. There's different uh, people out there that, that prefer to do each each thing, but for the most part, they'll do both. Okay, okay. Yeah. So why is it important to have either a wedding planner or a coordinator? Well, uh, it's it makes your life much more easier. Yeah. Putting a wedding together is absolutely, I think, the hardest thing to do, because you are juggling with multiple of vendors, you're juggling with multiple of you know of ideas and locations and venues. If you have somebody that's in charge that knows what they're doing, they do, they do it for a living. Yeah. Might as well have them, you know, yeah, take take exactly. all, all the challenge. Exactly. It eases the stress. Absolutely. Right. I mean, most most brides, most couples, they've never had a wedding before. They've mm -hmm. never had to plan it. Absolutely. A wedding planner, they do. Hundreds of weddings, probably, right? They've, mm -hmm. they've I hope so. They've experienced, I hope so. experienced wedding yeah. planners. And so they know exactly what they're doing. They know what you need. So that can ease a lot of the stress of planning. And, and keep in mind, imagine imagine on a, on a day of, yeah. being in charge, you're the bride or the groom, being in charge of the whole day. Yeah, yeah. trying to make sure everything I happens. I think that's the hardest part. Answering the worst thing to do. Right. It's like, I don't know. I, yeah. I always recommend at least have a day off. If you can't, you know, if, it's, if, if a wedding planner is not in your budget, yeah. at least have, have a coordinator. A coordinator. That, yeah. that because no matter what, no matter how professional all your vendors are, mm -hmm. there's going to be questions on the day of, right? Like, oh, where, where are we going to put the flowers? Where, where did the bar go? Where does the bar go? You know, so you don't want people going to the bride. When, when the bride's trying to get ready mm -hmm. and the groom's trying to get ready, like the last thing you want is to people to be bogging down with questions. Like you don't want to be thinking about any of that stuff. You want it to just all come together, all happen, mm -hmm. and that's the importance of a wedding coordinator because they will make that happen for you. Yeah, and we definitely have some amazing people worked with in the past that we would yeah. love to recommend. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, definitely, think definitely about that. wedding coordinator is key. What's okay. the next most important thing? Next is important you thing. You need somewhere. Where do you get to married? To actually get married. Where? Like, where would you get married? Where would I get On married? On top of the mountain? Top of a mountain. I do see that. That would be cool. That would be cool. That would be a very small wedding, though, because it might be hard to get uh, a guest up on top of a mountain. That's true. Unless That's you have a, uh, a, little a lift. Or a lope, just elopement. Or an elopement. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you're getting a lope, might as yeah. well just get up, up, uh, up a mountain. Yeah. Anyways, uh, but anyway, venues. so venue. Venue is important, uh, obviously, because you need to decide where do you want to get married, right? Yeah, and, and venue is definitely something that really reflects on a couple. Yeah. If a couple is super outdoorsy, uh, uh, yeah. they'll definitely do something outdoors. I mean, it doesn't yeah. always happen that way, but... Yeah, yeah so that's a one, one key decision is first decide, do I want to have an indoor wedding or do I want to have an outdoor yeah. wedding? I mean, you can always do, you know, outdoor, like a tent that type of a deal. Yeah, you can have an outdoor yeah. ceremony and then an indoor reception. Yeah. Um, and keep in mind, you know, like who your who your guests are. If you have you know elderly guests coming arriving at the wedding, you definitely don't want something that's yeah. You want to make sure it's accessible yeah, absolutely. for a wide range of people. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have a lot of guests, yeah. Consider spot. the time of year. If it's a, usually a rainy season, 
you know, be aware of that. Maybe it's not a good idea to have a fully outdoor wedding because if there's a chance of rain, mm -hmm. then you know you're gonna it's gonna yeah. it's gonna dampen your wedding. Dampen. Uh, what what else is important when choosing a wedding? You want it to be important to you, like match your personality. Yeah, be, yeah. Um, I think it should definitely you know have something in character. Yeah, but character. Well, most important thing I think you should probably probably think about how much people you're inviting for your wedding yeah. day. Uh, how much? Yeah. What's the capacity? Yeah, of the yeah. A lot of times they have beautiful <clears throat> venues, but they only they only you know they'll allow. 50, 100 people, and just depending on your on your wedding party, how much people you're planning on inviting, you should definitely consider that factor. Yeah, and another big thing to consider um, is uh, for your photos and your video, what is what does it look like? You know, are there good places to shoot? Is the lighting good? If you're going to have a reception area inside, is it really dark? Because the, if it's dark, then you're probably not going to get good photography. Yeah, that's out definitely of it. where a wedding um, planner go, uh, right. helps out in that in that, in that part. Right. Um, they that, that do is, so many weddings for the most part, and they should know. They should which, know the details. Which yeah. place you know yeah. has. But that is a that is an important thing to yeah. consider when choosing a venue. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. You want some some a place that's somewhat photogenic. Yeah. Another good thing to have for your wedding is a website, right? Uh, I think those are awesome. Yeah, right? web, I think wedding websites are really awesome because you can put it up online. You can have all the details mm -hmm. um, for your guests. You know where, when, and where it's going to be. Maybe directions of how that to get way, there. That way, Uncle Bob is not texting you or emailing you, yeah. and asking you all these weird questions where to stay. If a lot of people are coming in from out of state or out of town, you can put lots of details on there for say, you know, if they're going to come in for the the week before, you mm -hmm. know, they could you could put up. You know, here, here, here's some fun activities that you could do while our, you're our in favorite town. Restaurants, favorite where we like to restaurants, restaurants. Yeah, that way, hotels to stay at. That way, your guests are enjoying themselves, not yeah. just you know sitting in a hotel waiting for the big day. Exactly. You can put uh, your story up there. Um, you know, for the people who don't know it, they can read a little bit more about how you guys met. Um, and that's you where your engagement photos, you yeah. know, really engagement do shine. Photos, you, you engagement can, video. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, a little bit. Tell a little bit about your story. And, and the best and the, part is the they're, usually, they're usually free. Yeah. Usually you can find uh, quite, quite a bit of services they'll offer those for free. So that's yeah. definitely a great something to think about. And the cool thing is uh, you can definitely do wedding registry as well. Um, right. Linked yeah, you can link your wedding to your registry website. to your website. So it's all there just right in one place. When you send out the save the dates, you can send that link along. People will see your website. They'll see your registry. Well, be weird Make put, it super easy. Would it be weird to put a PayPal link or a Venmo just for... Uh, <laughs> Send us some money. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Might as well just do that, right? Do, put a Venmo link up on there so people can just start giving you cash. That's right. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. Okay. Another critical thing is... Florist. Because it definitely livens up It does. Atmosphere. You know, people You're overlook... A, a lot of people overlook that, yeah. you know, those little details. But I feel like those little details really put the day together. And, yeah, totally. Um, especially the wedding bouquet. Yeah. Um, to have someone who can work with designing flowers, yeah. botanicals, is that what mm -hmm. they call them? Is that the, is that the industry term? Uh, <laughs> sure, sure. let's we'll go there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Anyways, but yeah, to but have a professional who can design and put your bouquet together yeah. in a nice, beautiful way that works with all the other details of your wedding um, is really great. And it really just takes uh, the details up to the next level. Yep. Yeah, it makes oh. it all really beautiful. Um, the next thing that we think is important is having a DJ or a band for yes, the reception. Yes. This is really critical because, you know, a lot of times people think of like, oh, it's just they're just playing music, but they're really doing more than they're that. They're definitely DJ setting definitely a tone, important. right? They're setting, setting the tone, tone of, the, of the wedding day. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, they a can get, they the can get really expensive for the most part. Um, we don't recommend um, having um, sh uh, iPhones or uh, having playlists and shuffle. Yeah. Um, Few things is audio. You definitely want somebody that has a pretty good audio system. Totally. Yeah. Um, you nothing hear... ruins a wedding when when you hear a bunch of crackles in a toast. Yeah. Or crackles in the in the um, during the ceremony. Right. Yeah. Because that's the thing is DJs do more than just play music at the reception. Absolutely. Right? They're setting up and managing the PA system, mm -hmm. the sound system for the ceremony and for this reception when people are talking and giving toast. So you want to make sure that. They know what they're doing. They have good quality microphones. That's right. Um, if you're doing cinematography, you're going to want to, you know, they're going to need to work with your cinematographer to plug in and be able to record great audio for the video. Um, so that's really key. But also, a DJ doesn't, like going back to music, a DJ doesn't just play music. They can read the room and see what people are enjoying, see what they're not enjoying, mm -hmm. um, to keep the party going, right? It's more, it's more about Even like the whole are, emceeing part as well, yeah, right? You can, you, you can have somebody that actually knows how to talk, yeah, not like, not like talk. us, you know? Yeah. That, can, <laughs> that can invite people over to dance floor, that can yeah, get know, people properly excited. and properly announce the, the, whoever's doing the, the toast. The bridal party yeah, and yeah. the so, toast. 
they're definitely keeping the party going. Yeah, the they're keeping part. the party Especially going. Especially the reception part. It's, yeah. it's, there's crucial. Definitely spend time um, scouting the right person for you. And there's so many great vendors out there. And yeah. the thing is, it always go back, goes back to the wedding coordinators, the planners. They yeah. definitely will give you, they should or will be able to give you suggestions of yeah. who are the a best. Great, they have, they'll have a great list of vendors that they love working yeah. with and who do a good job. Another important thing is you're going to have lots of people, hopefully, coming yep. to your wedding, yep. visiting and watching the ceremony. And they all get hungry. Participating. Right? Yeah, you're, you're going to get hungry. <laughs> That's I mean, right. It's not, a, it's not a short day. Yes. You know, so. They're for quite a while. Yeah. So it's a party. So have a good caterer, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's somebody that, you know, that has your style of food. There's, yep. you know, there's so many caterers out there uh, from different cuisines. Yeah. Just choose the one you like the most and, yep. uh. Make yeah, sure do some taste testing. <laughs> that's right? that's true. Taste and usually testing. they're free too. Yeah, they'll a taste? lot of a lot of caterers will yeah. you know, so why, set why up a consultation and they'll they'll do some taste testing, give you some you know food to samples and see what you like and see what mm -hmm. you want to have. Yeah, that's, that's something to, to think about. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, put that on a on the side. That's something that should probably be on. Yeah, that's definitely definitely on a priority. Definitely on the priority yeah. list for sure. Next thing, photo booth. Photo booths. Photo booths are awesome. They Photo definitely can be cheesy cool. yeah. at times. There's a bunch of different companies out there. Um, but it's, it's a, sometimes it's okay for a photo booth true. to be cheesy. Because I know, it's, just me being... It's different than you know, the professional I, I know. photography. That's true. That's it's true. like your guests just going, giving your guests something fun to do, and it's, it's more about like, hey, let's have fun, and let's just goof off and that's be true. cheesy, Absolutely. and let's make no, some I, And I agree with you. I agree with you, and I think having a place where people can have in the back, just going to get together and just, yeah, just, get together. just goof around. Just goof you know, around, You're yeah. having a good time, you know, and it's something that you can have a bunch of instant photos that people can take home or, uh, or a, a gift to you. Um, Absolutely, and a lot part. of the times, most of the guests who aren't like part of the bridal party, they don't get photos with the bride and the groom, absolutely, right? Except, except for maybe on their iPhone. It's like, hey, let's get a quick selfie. Absolutely. So a photo booth is a good chance for the guests to pull the bride and groom aside and say, mm -hmm. hey, let's go take some photos in the in the photo booth just so we have that, that memory. I've noticed that a lot of weddings, uh, the bride and groom, they don't really go to the photo booth as much as I should. Oh, really? So I think it's important to have spent some time yeah. with your best friends or whoever in the photo booth. Yeah. Maybe just be alone, the bride and groom or whoever. Right. But I think having a group uh, just with your closest friends is goof around and have a good time. Because yeah. I know we photographers, cinematographers are kind of like very like, oh, is this lighting correct? Is this, you know, right. <laughs> uh, is this a good moment? But that's something that you can just completely just goof off and not yeah, stress not worry about, about it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's something uh, yeah, that just every, every wedding should, should have. In this day and age, it's the social media revolution. What's, what's social media? Social media is social media. Social media. This is what we are on right now. We're yes. broadcasting on the tube. We are on the tube. So, <laughs> for your wedding, we think it's important to come up with a custom hashtag. Yes. Right. A lot of brides are, are doing this now. Well, they'll come up with a, a quirky, fun name that kind of maybe combines their last mm -hmm. names or do something like that. Um, and it's a great way to, if you know how hashtag works, you can hashtag your photo on Instagram and it'll group them all together. So when you search that hashtag, it shows all the photos. And the couple, and the couple can save all those photos. Yeah, and the, can the just couple, save them? Yeah, so all your guests, they're probably gonna be taking photos throughout the day, yep. and if they're posting them, they can just use that hashtag. And the cool thing is, it's a lot of it's behind the scenes. Yeah, a lot of it's behind the, the scenes. People that post is just like, oh, it just, you know, I, I haven't noticed about this wedding that, that this happened, you know, yeah. so. And the cool thing about hashtag is, there's actually websites out there that will generate a hashtag for you. Oh, really? You just put your name nice. and some kind of details and it actually automatically generate it for you. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it's we'll link, we'll link those websites down below so you can get it. Let's do it. You can go over yeah. there, check it out, create a hashtag. Um, yeah, so it's a great way just for your guests to share all the photos that they're taking throughout the day as well. Absolutely. And we do recommend, you know, having some kind of a sign or kind of, kind of uh, so, the, yeah. so guests will know. Yeah, you want you want some way to communicate. Or even on your website, your going back is. to the website as well. Yeah, going back to the website, that's you a great have place a hashtag, to have it. Start off the hashtag there, so that way Yeah, that way when guests are, are even traveling, if they're coming from out of state, they can start tagging it, you know, like, hey, heading to the wedding. That sounds and, exciting. You know, yeah. that's really exciting. Yeah. Uh, a couple things left here on the list, and the next thing is to have the guest a guest book. book. Yeah. yeah, guest books are guest books definitely, are they open up uh, a way for people to leave, you know, leave a mark. Leave a mark on your wedding on day. Your wedding right? day yeah. yeah. That were, you know, it was a beautiful word or something probably inappropriate written down. <laughs> I've seen a few things yeah. in guest book. Right. For the most part, yeah. it's something, you know. It, it's a private way for your guests to yeah. uh, just have a little fun and, like, you know, write something, write a quick note to you. Quick and then, note, yeah. Or something. Yeah, you know, then you have that guest book forever and you can just go back and look through it and, you know, oh, remember. Do you have yours? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, I, I got mine, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, it's I, a great. We did it. We actually, fun. so we did, we did a, uh, a picture frame. 
a picture frame. Okay. Yeah, and people wrote a bunch of random stuff. Yeah. yeah, so it doesn't have to be necessarily a book, mm -hmm. right? Be, be creative with it, be fun. Um, you know, Vlad did a picture frame. I had a, I had a guest book, but like you could do it. There's a lot of creative things. Uh, I've seen people do like um, maps, you know, of like maybe their favorite oh, area. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Oh, and actually we did, we did uh, recently, we just did a wedding, uh, they had a dictionary. A dictionary. And you choose what word describes the couple the most. Oh, that's cool. And you leave a little note for them. That was oh, pretty that's, unique. That's unique. Yeah. That's really cool. So, guest books, they're awesome. Get one. Uh, all right. Lastly. So, last but not least, obviously, the most important thing right. you could ever get for your wedding day. If you don't do anything else, well, that's not true because if you don't do anything else, <laughs> we won't have anything to capture. That's true. But, right? <laughs> but to wrap this all up, you got to have a photographer and cinematographer come yeah. to your wedding to capture the whole day, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we just went through this whole list and you put a lot of work and time into planning this wedding. Absolutely. Think about, think about how, much, how much time you put in and how, yeah. much, how much energy of this designing and planning yeah. you want to save that. Yeah, you want to save that, right? I mean, the human mind fades, right? Memories fade and so... We want to make sure that you capture your wedding mm -hmm. um, in vivid detail so that you can go back and relive those memories, right? And the cool thing is, uh, especially when, later on in the future when you have to have kids or whatever, it, it's for them to see what happened. Yeah, um, exactly. It's uh, a great my, heirloom. My kids love to look at our wedding photos. Yeah, and, our um, kids too. And that's something they are excited about, and we're proud of it. Yeah, yeah, it's great. So photography and cinema two things that go together really well. Mm -hmm. um, and we might be a little biased on that, but uh, you know, obviously we love what we do. Yeah, so. and like, Ben, why should people do a video? I'm not tell photos why, but why should they do cinema? Why should they do cinema? Well, no offense, Vlad, but cinema is way better than photography. I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know. But I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. And, and, and I'll later. tell you why though. Photos are very instant. You know, you yeah. have instant photo, you can instant share, you can print, sure. you can yeah. print it. You can print it, you um, can't print video. I'll give you that. Let's, yeah. Uh, but video, it's, I think it's a time capsule. Absolutely. It's a different time capsule. You don't have to watch totally. it every day. You don't have you to don't put have it up on your wall every day. day. Yeah, yeah. Um, absolutely. Yeah, video, it gives you a more complete memory of mm -hmm. the day because you get the whole audio-visual experience. And the best part is you have to stop. You have to stop and watch it. Yeah, you got to stop and watch it. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a choice, a decision to just sit down. It's, a, it's really more of a shared experience maybe as well. Because maybe open a bottle of wine. Open a bottle of wine, a bottle of champagne, yeah. whatever your favorite drink is. Get the family together. It's your parents, your friends over. Mm -hmm. Sit down, relive the day, you know, and it's, it's really just a great way to, like, dive back in and remember yeah, everything. Show absolutely. your kids. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, photo and video are great. I'm giving Vlad, Vlad, Vlad a hard time about I, photos. I still think photos are They really go together well. You need both. And right, one thing I can't trust, absolutely, other. absolutely, and especially when you have a team that does photo and video um, together, it's very seamless. And, yeah, absolutely. Um, but um, one thing I like to say is, and I can't stress about it, is especially with photos, um, I definitely recommend printing all their stuff, print albums, print uh, wall art. Um, don't let your photos live in its digital st uh, state or format. Yeah, absolutely. When you actually print something, people can feel it, it's tangible, it's something that excites people. When you actually can touch it, not just look at a screen. Because yeah. nobody cares. Absolutely. Nobody cares uh, about your photos uh, if they're on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it is. They'll like that's it once and then they'll yeah. never see it again. Nobody's going to care. Yeah. That's a good point. You know, hiring your photography and cinematography yeah. team, make sure that they're a team, that they're actually a team that works together well because a lot of people, if they're separate, you know, they don't, they've never worked together before, they don't know each other's style or how they and work. Absolutely. And there, could be some, there can be some friction yeah, you know, and trying to capture it. So yeah, you want to make sure that they're working together to capture your day uh, the way that you know, in the best way possible. Yeah, and, and each, each, you know, each creative, I should say, has their own workflow. Yeah, uh, absolutely. They, you know, they like to work a specific way, and when you have, when you have a team of creatives, that, you know, the cinema and photo together, they know how each, each one works, and, you know, where, you know, how do you, basically, who gets the, the time to work with a couple? Yeah, and making yeah. sure that both photography absolutely. and cinema get what they need to, you know, create the, the memories that will last forever. Yep, that's about it, guys. So All right, that's it. Top so 10 That's things. our top 10 must-haves for your wedding day. Yeah, there's, there is a lot, more, there's a lot more that we could go into, but we think that those are the most important to think about uh, at the very beginning of planning your wedding, right? A lot of couples will, will get months down the road. They've already spent a lot of their budget, and they'll say, oh, I totally forgot about this, but now I don't have any money left for it. Um, so... You know, make sure that you think about everything that you need and plan out your budget accordingly. So that way you're not missing out on something that you'll regret. You know, I think there's, what's this? I think like 40% of brides um, 
regret not hiring a coordinator and a, and a, cinema. and a cinematographer. That's one of the biggest regrets. And that's one of their biggest regrets mm -hmm. after their wedding. So, yeah, so. so make sure that there's nothing that you regret after the wedding. Um, you know, definitely think it all through, plan it all out, and uh, your wedding's gonna be awesome. Yep. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so that you get notifications every time we upload a video to get more great content like this. And let us know what was your most important thing on your wedding day. Basically, that's where the D-Day is. That's where things happen. Okay. What is it, why would it call D-Day? D-Day. That, is, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard, Vlad. I don't know. All right, welcome back to our channel. This is Ben and, no, this is, no. <laughs> this is... Hey guys, welcome back. You be quiet <laughs> for a second. <laughs>